The thing that, uh, something that seemed to create a little bit of confusion is we, you know, we did it in different places at different times. So most instances, we did it up at the top at the windward mark. Okay? And what happens is we, you, the, the shortened course gets signaled as the lead boat, the boat that's in the lead of the race, is approaching that top mark. Um, we, we like to give it, we like to give them, you know, uh, try and give them about 100 meters or so pre a warning because, you know, they're, if they're in the mindset that they're heading off on a reach, they're preparing the boat for the reach. Whereas if we're certainly going to change it and they're going to go straight through the finish, they're onto a run. So we'd like to give them a bit of warning. Um, but what it means effectively, the flag's going to go up. And what we did yesterday was slightly naughty. It's not actually typically done. We, we also gave you sound signals at the mark. Yeah. Yeah. Typically, what would happen is only that the bridge boat will send off. How many sound, sound signals with the S flag? Two. Two. OK, so you will hear two sound signals. Bop, bop and the S flag will fly on the bridge boat. On the bridge boat, okay? Um, uh, with a lot of racing, there will also be, like we did yesterday, a mark boat up at the top there flying the S flag, but they won't give you sound signals. What we did yesterday, we recognized that there was actually quite a large split in the actual knowledge levels and, uh, and uh, newness to the sailing game of the fleet. So we also gave everybody the sound signal. So you may have noticed you've got two whistles as you're approaching the mark. Okay, to draw your attention to the flag as well. But don't expect that normally. Don't expect the sound signal. So what happens on a shortened course? The lead <coughs> boat rounds the mark that it is approaching and goes directly through the finish line from the direction of that mark. So a couple of things happened. We did it over here as the boats were coming up here, uh, coming, and, they, and they, the next leg was actually maybe in a triangle. But instead, what happened, because we got the shortened course, they realize it, they turn and they go straight through the finish line from the direction of that mark. <coughs> the one that created slight confusion yesterday is we also did a shortened course at this mark. Okay? Now, exactly the same thing applies. You're going to, the, the lead boat rounds it and goes straight through the line from the direction of the mark. You cannot finish like that. So even if in the pre-race you've been told you're doing an upwind finish, the moment the shortened course goes up, all those previous instructions have fallen away. The rule is from that mark straight through in the, in the direction of the line. So that's the correct way through. Is that always the case? That's always the case. If the shortened course goes from that mark straight through the finish line, okay, you don't go don't go round it. Don't do any sort of loop behind it. Okay. Does that clear up what was happening there yesterday, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, can I just ask a question? Sure. If from the leader, yeah. somebody else has to do exactly what the leader has done. That's it. That's critical. Yes. So what happens is you could well be a lap behind. <laughs> if you are behind when that short and goes, you've still got to sail the same complete course as the first boat did. So you've all got to complete the same thing. So you've got to be race away. You've got to know where the boats are, and that's slightly more difficult when we were in the kind of racing we were doing here where we had such a spread of speeds of boats as well. So, so if, you, if, you, if you've been left, you can't just finish? No, you can't because you, you haven't sailed the same race, you haven't sailed the same distance and then the handicapping is not going to work. <laughs> like a, I was just hoping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, a t there's a tactic there. Yeah. Watch that wind coming in and then hang back. <laughs> <laughs> you, you talk you, about that, you, Alan. You Mike, that worked with Bart Spash last that year. Worked, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to say. The one race with that dinner fly was at Bart Spash, where um, Mike and Rickers were ahead, and, 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 and they had to hit the particular time. They, had, uh, they weren't allowed to finish inside of a certain time, so we had a time limit before they were legally allowed to cross the line. And I was racing just behind them, and I was watching the clock. And <laughs> they went around. I saw the wind was dying, and I sandbagged. Yeah. <laughs> and I just hung in until the sun, until we got the sound signal. I crossed the finish line about you know, seconds after the time limit was up. They had to do another we had lap. to do another lap. <laughs> in the light wind, and it, even though they were well ahead of me, it killed their overall time. <laughs> so, but that, that's a very unusual. Situation. Happy with the shortened course? Understanding? That? Any other questions on it? Uh, yes. So, if sometimes you finish at the weather mark, how do you know that? Um, what they bridge, uh, what they can choose to do, alternatively, is they can put a. 
they can put a mark boat at any mark like that and uh, and signal that and that can become the finish line as well so with color so they could do that as well and it, it can often be done at a gate as well where they can actually convert the gate to the finish line so the option is if, there, if there's no boat signaling the finish round go back through the finish line otherwise you'll see a bridge a, 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 a race boat there but it will also be flying the blue signaling that it's a mini boat on station as the finish line is that in a course change? It's a short course as well. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So there, there, there's very, very little criteria there. And I have to keep blowing off. Yeah. Which is the But that's not deemed to be a, a, a course change. No, because they're still saying the same course. Yeah. And they. But you change the start finish line. Uh, yeah, but it's a shortening of the course. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll show you the actual rule in a, in a, in a minute there. Yeah, Stuart, I'm thinking of the wording there. Uh, if you change the direction of the finish line, you change the course anyway. That's really short. Yeah. So, so it's overriding. Yeah. 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 The, short, the shortened course is basically saying, yeah. I've told you before, it's out the window now, new plan in place. Okay. Um, there's another one. Yeah. The risk of confusing everything. Yeah. Just when I was, we were discussing over the email, the all cat course. Yes. And there's something about... Yeah, that's an offset course. Yes, okay. there's something about that you can't actually use the finish line as the short course. Finish yeah, line. well th this is... I'm still having huge discussions with the Dart fleet. It's a, the, the, the Dart World's fleet course looks like this. Um, you have a gate there, so you have a committee nice, boat yeah. there, uh, so the committee boat sits there, and you have an, uh, an offset line like that. So, so if I lose all of these marks here, the gate, so, so you, you've got a gate, committee boat sits there, and the line is offset, which gives us a a finish line like that. Yeah. And the problem is Kyle Bowman here. Yeah. Um, Kyle got burnt by this big time. Okay. Um, what happens is the uh, we do multiple laps windward leeward course, so there's no, so we're going through the gate back up to the top, and. What happens is, for tactical reasons, there's more wind over here. Carl comes down and he's heading for this mark here. Right on his tail, but trying to avoid the dirty wind are a few boats. So three or four boat lengths behind him. Um, the bridge signals shorten course as the lead boat approaches the rounding mark. So in other words, as Carl reaches this mark, he now realizes there's a shortened course coming into play. He does that, they do that, they're all ahead of him. Yeah, and you lost. I think you lost about four four places in the one situation where that happened. That was in the world. Uh, no, that was, well, well, it, it, yeah. it was also happening in the world. Actually, yeah. I rewrote the sailing instructions for the worlds to um, because what, what they do internationally <coughs> is it, to prevent exactly this. They will place a mark boat two or three hundred meters up the course, flying a shortened course. Okay, so you and I wrote that into the, world, into the Dart World Sailing Instructions, but they then took them out. Yeah. But if you read the, the rule, the yeah. book, the, the finish line cannot be used. Yeah. The finish line, the gate has to be used. That's right. Which yeah. is then fair again. That's it. So they, they, they should have had the, the yeah. boat on there. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and, that, and, and, and that eliminates all those issues. Now, how do you actually know that? Is that just because the gate is in front of the committee boat? Because your previous situation, like we sailed yesterday, yeah. was go for the finish. Go for the finish, yeah. In this situation, it's go for the gate, which becomes a finish. So the, so the gate becomes the last mark, so you can go through, as long as you pass through the gate. Uh, what will happen here? Yeah. Isn't that if they shorten it up the pay mark? Uh, no, no. Already. Uh, no, they'll, they'll shorten as you're approaching this, and it's going to make no difference which mark you head to, because yeah. gate's supposed whichever to be one you've chosen to go to, you're going to hit. It's, it's not perfect because if, yeah. uh, if there was greater wind here and you were this boat, for example, <laughs> and you chose to just go to the opposite gate just to make to break away, um, you could have guys hitting that faded window slightly behind you. Saying that <laughs>